Oh, it's me, the ukulele teacher, here to teach you how to play Everything Stays by Rebecca Sugar from the Incredible Adventure Time series. So, grab your uke. Make sure it's in tune, and if you need help tuning your uke, then be sure to download my free app, the ukulele app, right now. And when it is in tune, your uke should sound like this. Before we go any further, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more lessons like this one, and make sure you subscribe so you never miss a lesson. Also, let me know in the comments right now what song you guys want to learn next. Okay, first things first, I'm going to play through this song very quickly to give you guys a rough idea of how it should sound when you've learned it. Make sure you download a song sheet from my Patreon or Facebook page so you can follow along. Let's go in the garden, you'll find something waiting right there where you left. If you already know them, then skip ahead now. To play the chord of G, put your first finger on the second fret of the third string, your second finger on the second fret of the first string, and your third finger on the third fret of the second string. And the chord of G should sound like this. To play the chord of C major 7, keep that G shape, but just lift up your first and third finger, and leave your second finger on the second fret of the first string. And the chord of C major 7 should sound like this. To play the chord of B7, bar the 2nd fret with your 1st finger, and add your 2nd finger to the 3rd fret of the 3rd string, and the chord of B7 should sound like this. If you find bar chords a little bit difficult, then make sure you check out my video on how to do bar chords first, because it'll give you a couple of extra hints and tips to make it a little bit easier for you. To play the chord of E minor, put your 1st finger on the 2nd fret of the 1st string, your 2nd finger on the 3rd fret of the 2nd string, and your 3rd finger on the 4th fret of the 3rd string. And the chord of E minor should sound like this. To play the chord of C7, just put your 1st finger on the 1st fret of the 1st string. And the chord of C7 should sound like this. To play the chord of D, put your 1st, 2nd and 3rd fingers on the 2nd fret of the 4th, 3rd and 2nd strings. And the chord of D should sound like this. And to play the chord of A minor, just put your 1st finger on the 2nd fret of the 4th string. And the chord of A minor should sound like this. And to play the chord of G7, it's basically the shape of G, but upside down. So put your 2nd finger on the 2nd fret of the 3rd string, your 1st finger on the 1st fret of the 2nd string, and your 3rd finger on the 2nd fret of the 1st string. And the chord of G7 should sound like this. Now this song is in 3-4 time, which means there are 3 beats to every bar or measure. Normally in most of the pop songs we learn, there are 4 beats between each chord, but this time it's a nice and steady 3. Now don't worry if you don't know too much about the difference between 3-4 and 4-4 time, all you really need to know is that it just changes the strumming pattern a bit. For this song, the strumming pattern that I'm playing is a nice and simple down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up and you play that down, down, up, down, up once on each chord. So for example, the first line is G to C major seven. So just practice, in fact, playing that a few times, going from G to C major seven again and again until you've got the strumming pattern down. Down, down. strumming pattern down nice and tight. It might take you a little bit of work because, although it's an easy pattern, it's a bit different to the kind of patterns that we normally play. But once you've got it, you'll need to play it all the way through the song, so make sure you've got that beat nice and steady. Now there are just four lines in the verse, and they're repeated twice. So the first four lines are G to C major 7, like we just played. Then G to B7. Then E minor to C7. G to D. So let's put that all together and play it through once. G, C major 7, G, B7, E minor, C7, G, D. And if we play 
that through twice, then we've got our verse. It should sound something like this. Let's go in the garden. You'll find something waiting. Right there where you left it, lying upside down. When you finally find it, you'll see how it's faded. The underside is lighter when you turn it around. And that takes us into our chorus. Now for the first line of the chorus we play the chord of A minor twice, and for the second line of the chorus we play the chord of E minor twice, like this. One, two, one, two. Then we play the chord of D to B7, again back to once on each chord, like this. D, B7, and then we play E minor to G7, like this. E minor, G7. Then we play C major 7 to C7. Then we play G twice. Then D twice. And then G. So let's put that all together and play through our chorus. Everything stays right where you left it. And then after that, you just repeat the verse, but as an instrumental. Put that all together, and that's how to play Everything Stays by Rebecca Sugar from The Incredible Adventure Time. I've been the Ugly Teacher. If you have any requests for future lessons, then let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, until next time, I love you all, and I wish you the best.